Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, you're very welcome. So today, oops, I think I just hit my stand, my tripod. Uh, I want to demonstrate and also talk about the front post double crochet stitch, and I'm going to contrast it with the back post double crochet stitch. I remember the first time I saw this in a pattern years ago when I was fairly new to crocheting. I got a little nervous when I saw those letters FPDC, but I remember being also very drawn to the texture it creates in dimension. This is a top design I'm working on, and if you want to subscribe, you will see the tutorial for it probably in another month when I have all of the sizes worked out and the finished product to photograph. So the how this stitch is different, the post, is instead of working into the top row like we normally would with single crochet, half double, double, treble, we're going to be working in the post which is along the side. And this is the true yarn I reviewed in my last video. And also I want to point out that the spaces between them don't come from the front post stitch. I have a chain space between each which is part of this design. So let me do my chain one space, yarn over, like we're going to do a double crochet, and instead of working in the top, we're going to the post. Now because of this front post row recessed this a little, I have to dig around and find it. And there it is. I just pull it apart, yarn over, keep the hook in all of these front and back straight down when you pull through, otherwise you might grab something that you don't intend to and that's going to slow you up. So let's go behind the post, push it forward, this makes it a front post. Yarn, see it's straight down as I come through, pull through, up, I've got my three loops on the hook like with a double crochet, and then do my double crochet. Chain one, Again, part of this design, not part of the actual stitch. Yarn over, go behind it, bring it forward. I'll do three of these total, and then I'll show the back post. Make sure I didn't get anything extra on there. Yeah, it looks like I did. Let me do that one again. I'm human, I'm not perfect. Yarn over, push it forward, keeping that down. Oh, my cat's got the little zoomies through and finish the double crochet. Chain one, yarn over, push that post forward, front post, double crochet. Now for the back post, I find this one a little bit more tricky with regard to I have to watch what I'm doing and so will you because some of the stitch, there's my chain one, is out of your vision unlike the front post because we're working behind. So for the back post, we go behind the main row to the back side of that post. So we're coming in from behind, laying that needle on top of the post, pushing it back, back post, back there, keep that hook straight down, yarn over, pull through all of that very carefully, otherwise you might grab a little something extra that doesn't constitute this stitch, yarn over, and do, I think I got it, through there, and do that double crochet. One more time, yarn over, remember I did a chain one as part of the design. Go behind that row, find that post back there, go through it, yarn over, that hook straight down, come through all of that back there, and come up, finish your double crochet. We'll do one more and then we're going to look at what this does to your work as far as dimension. Chain one, for my chain one space, yarn over, go back behind that stitch, carefully pull through, come up, finish that double crochet. Pull this out and let's take a look. Now first we're just going to look at the front post. Well, let's look at the whole thing. Now if you notice, 
before I even started working this, this whole row, even though it's double crochet, it was very recessed and you couldn't see it hiding back there. As we work these front post stitches, it really brings it out front and center, raises it up, gives it nice height. And then if we look from this way, you can see the front post adds this dimension. And then on the back, see it's back here? It looks like the front, but it's in reverse because that's exactly what's happening, doing the reverse. It's really pretty. And this is a top, and I think when it's hanging on the body, it will really show off these stitches nicely. Okay, so that's how you do it. It's not difficult. Uh, give this a like if you found it helpful. If you want to subscribe, you can see when more blah, can't talk <laughs> tutorials from me in the future. And I'm also doing a little special crochet video that isn't a how-to, but more of a walk through time with crochet, including into the now. Hopefully you will enjoy that as well. And um, hopefully I will see you again. Take care and happy crocheting everybody.